Micro Galaxy Squadron Series 2 Luke Skywalker Snowspeeder is here, and you know what? I'm finally going to open this thing, but I also want to compare it to the Action Fleet from the 90s. Let's get into it. Hey everybody, welcome to the Dano Channel. I am Dano, and I'm back with more Micro Galaxy Squadron. It's been a minute since I've opened one of these things up. I've got some, I've got some new ones, I just haven't opened them up on video in a while, so... That said, I've got some more series two. This is there. I've had other series two. Now that I think about it, I've got some uh, some of like the Republic gunship, some of the new ones with the different paint schemes on them. But I got this one from Amazon recently, and it's Luke Skywalker's Snowspeeder. It's very cool looking. It's very neat. But I'm also going to be comparing it to the Action Fleet because why not? I actually don't have many Action Fleet. I don't collect Action Fleet, but I happen to have. One of the few Action Fleet sets I got is this Hoth set from the 90s. And, oh, I got little dudes on there. And so I want to put this on there and see kind of just how it looks, how it scales. Because I can tell you already, it's much smaller. Look at that. It just in size, it's so much smaller than the Action Fleet that it's going to be interesting. Now, just to take a look at the outside of the box here, we've got some gorgeous Hoth. Beautiful Hoth little background there. Snowy peaks, some explosions going on. I think they're blowing up probe droids. And just, it's number 38038. Luke Skywalker Snow Speeder comes with Pilot Luke Skywalker and Dak Router. Cool, cool. Dak, who feels like he could take on the whole Empire himself. Famous last words, literally. <laughs> uh, but yeah, let's take a look at the back. Of course, they got the little blueprint. And then it's got uh, Series 2. It says collect them all. There's a couple things back here. We've got, uh, is that Bo-Katan's ship that I think we saw in the Mando Season 3 trailer? Either that or the one we saw in the trailer was um, Fen Rao. Maybe, maybe Fen Rao. I don't know. We'll see. It was either Bo-Katan's or Fen Rao. But we've got the, the little tank there. Is it the AAT tank? Is that what that's called? Or LAAT tank? Uh, we've got, is that Ahsoka Starfighter? And then the ch oh, chase vehicles are Ahsoka Jedi Starfighter. And I want to say that's Anton... Antok Merrick, Anton Merrick, Antok Merrick, um, his X-Wing. Pretty cool. Those are the chases, which I have not had much luck finding a lot of these chases in this line in my area. Sabine. I don't know if it was the same size, but Sabine, TIE Fighter. Man, I want that one so bad. But let's get this thing opened up here. Oh, it's now mine's already kind of been open. Look at that. It's like sliced. Already, it's already like sliced open partially. The this is like already missing. This is from Amazon. Thanks, dude. Like I hope mine wasn't. It's got tape on the but I don't. I don't know if this was previously open or not. It almost feels like it was. Like they got in there. And maybe took the mini figs. I don't know. I can't tell. They look right. The mini figs look right. You know how I know? I'm going to show you a close-up real quick. Uh, you know how I know the minifigs are correct? Either this the correct scale and they fit in the little plastic bubble, but I want to show you this. The way I know that these aren't ripped off and, like, stolen is, look, there's blue, blue dots on the one on the right for Dak and red dots on the one on the left for Luke, and it happens to match what we've got there in the little photo. So they are correct. Notice how detailed the one in the photo looks. You can see a lot of the ribs in the jacket. I wonder if these, you can actually see them as well. Because that little rendering on there looks really good. But enough of that. Let's get this thing open. Okay. I'm just going to open it on the side that it's already been ripped open on, I guess. That makes the most sense, doesn't it? Notice there's no um, silver sticker on this. There's no, like, what are, what are the... I have some on my desk here. Oh, uh, launch edition? Doesn't say launch edition anymore because this is series two. Which I think that's kind of interesting. Uh, let me peel... Can I get a clean peel off the back here? Can I get a clean peel? Oh, yeah, almost. Almost. Hey, that worked out pretty well. Nice clean peel. Take this out. There we go. We've got our little snow speeder there. Our little mini bubble with our two figures. Take those out. How easy is this to take out, I wonder? Okay, that wasn't too bad. That was not too bad. A little sticky thing that stays on there. Very cool. Uh, I do like to look at these back backdrops if I don't get tape stuck to them. There we go. Um, I enjoy these little things. This one is not as fancy as the other backdrop, but just so you guys can see it, there's just a couple TIE Fighters flying around. Now this one is a little different in that a lot of times you'd have them sit like this, but this would be upside down. 
because this usually acts as a base. This is this is a little different. I feel like the print is upside down on this, um, but whatever. And then just to show you this background artwork there, little Hoft scene. We got some at at ATAT -AT walkers there being shot at. What what exploded? That I can't tell what exactly exploded. It looks I. It might be a snow speeder that exploded. I can't tell. I want to like swipe and look closer, but I can't tell what it is. Can you guys tell what that is that exploded? Let me know if you know what that is that exploded, because I don't know what that is. And you got the giant ion cannon in the back. But what we're here for is this little, this little tiny guy, little snow speeder guy. Look at this little thing. Oh, he's so little. Please tell. Okay. All right. All right. Look. Buckethead. Look. It's got a tow cable. It's got a tow cable. It's got a tow cable. It's a little hook. Does the action fleet? Action fleet doesn't have that. Okay, here's a question though. Now that I've pulled it, how do I get it to go back? <gasps> There's a wheel. There's a wheel on the, okay, look at this. Look at this. Okay, look. See this little wheel right here? This little wheel I'm pointing at right there. That little wheel. It rolls. And so, like, I can hang this, right? And as long as I roll that wheel, the rope itself gets pulled back up. That is a really, really cool feature. Um, one of the things I'm noticing on this so far is these little, these little front blasters kind of wobbly. Freaks me out a little bit. I'm worried. I'm very worried. Um, I am noticing a little bit of lack in paint decoration on these. I don't know if this is what Luke's look like specifically, but notice in the artwork here. What are the colors you see on these things? Red, right? All the snow speeders got a little bit of red on them. All of them. How about the ones in this artwork? I'm seeing little marks of red. Little marks of red on the snow speeders, right? What am I seeing here? No red at all. I've got gray. I've got gray and that's it. There's, okay, there's a little, little, tiny bit of red back here. Look at that. Tiny little mark of red. A little Z, is that a ZZ on the window? A little two Zs on the window? Um, which does match. I mean, just look for comparison's sake. How much difference in paint color there is there also a difference in size huge difference in size i think uh, but just some of the decos on there the zz on the side it's on both sides zz next to the window back there um this one's got more though action fleet okay i can already tell you action fleet does this better but but it's not it's not terror it's not all bad it is not all bad how can i Okay, there we go. I was like, how can I open this up more? All right, I'm gonna show you guys some close-ups real quick, so you just so you can see some of these features that it's got, because you got you got to see what I'm talking about here. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about with the little ZZ. See how it says ZZ right there? ZZ. You get a little bit of weathering. There's a little bit of brown, a little bit of brown wash here, and they're not too heavy-handed, right? This is the battle damage one that came with the uh, the Hoth playset. This one's got more actual like functions. But notice there's a little bit of arabesque, which I can't quite make out. A little bit of arabesque down there underneath the two Zs. More of this brown all over this one. And just, I mean, just to see those the differences in size and paint schemes. Huge difference. Now, if I hang this upside down, notice these little flaps pop up, right? They don't really, they're, they're hard to get up otherwise. They really are. Like, you have to kind of flip it upside down. Get them to open up. And then, and then you can kind of hold it up before it drops. No, and see it dropped and I lost it. And I lost it. so now I gotta hold it upside down again. And then hold it up with one finger. And can we, is there anything good in there? Anything going on in there? Too dark to tell? I can't. It's neat that it opens. It is neat that it opens, but I don't. There's not a whole lot going on in there. There's not, there's really not. Uh, how about the back? Back looks pretty good. Is there any landing gear? Is this is this a foot? Is this a landing foot? It looks like it would be. Maybe I'm pulling it the wrong way. 
Oh. That's it? That's the landing foot? Wait, not even to- it, Okay, look, it sits at kind of a funky angle. Oh, it doesn't feel right. It, it feels like it's- like it should be like that instead of leaning back. But I don't see any more landing gear anywhere on this. How about the features on the back panel? Does it say anything? This is what, the tow cable, I think? Tow cable? Oh, what is that little... Okay, so there should be another roller here. I'm, what am I looking at? It's showing that little thing. Go to the right. Oh. Okay. Okay, what is this? I don't know. Oh, that locks it. Okay. So... <laughs> All right, I've pulled my tow cable, right? I've got it pulled. Sorry for the terrible close-ups here and the switching of the cam. Um, when I have it all the way this way, it's locked in place. The tow cable is locked in place. Can I? It's very curly. This naturally wants to curl up, uh, which is fine. But when I have it locked in place, don't curl up too much. I can't really, or can I? Yeah. Oh, it unlocked. Oh, see, when it's like that, it doesn't move. When it's locked, that means the tow cable's not going anywhere. After, but see, when I loosen it, then I can pull it. So all that is is a locking mechanism for the tow cable. And the tow cable can kind of hang out in this little slot here. And it's fine, and it doesn't get in the way. You can lock it in place. Boom, no big deal. But really, that's about it, I think? The cockpit does open up, and it holds two figures. Hey, that's cool. Maybe we can maybe get some light in here. Maybe that'll help a little bit. Just a little bit. Let's get some light going on in here. Then we can see some of this stuff a little bit better. Again, still not a whole lot going on in there. Not much. Very light on the, the weather. I mean, the brown weathering is there. It's all over. Not too heavy, I guess. This is a look at the little cannon on the back. Little cannon. This is the cannon from Action Fleet. Way cooler, much more detailed. This one does not have a harpoon of any kind. Not on the bottom or anything. There was a piece of landing gear right here, but mine is from a weird lot and it did not come with it. This is the only kind of landing gear this has, is this little thing on the bottom. I like that there's details underneath it. That's kind of cool, but that's really all. None of these other flaps or anything do much. And this is like a $20 purchase. I want to say this was like $21 or something. I got it on Amazon. So I think it might have been a third party, not directly from Amazon, but like a third party retailer. I like they're doing this. They put a little figure on the back, like a little back card for the figure, a little blueprint. Uh, and these little guys. Can I get them to can I get them to fit in there? Can I get them to stay? Pop out pop out they're virtually the same like I'm gonna put them up here so you can see them with a white background they are virtually the same figures just with um little differences now I bet some paint and some wash could bring out some of those details on them but they're very very basic figures someone was asking me um, how they stack up to Action Fleet figures. So I don't have a pilot on me in Action Fleet, but I do have a snow trooper. You can tell they're a little bit short. They are a little bit short when stacked up next to that uh, that stormtrooper, snow trooper rather. But there you go. Just so you have an idea of how they uh, stack up next to Action Fleet. Okay. So one thing I did just do, I'm able to pop this uh, the cockpit all the way back because when you want when you put them in the chairs. You want your gunner facing back, the back of the ship. And then you want Luke, so Dak faces back. And then you want Luke facing forward, because that's how these things work. I totally forgot that, but it's accurate. And how do, how do these sit in here? Same. Huh. I don't, I don't have the pilots that came with this one, so I don't know. But let's get out the little play set. Whoa, there it is, there it is. And let's see what this thing looks like. In a Hoth setting. I hope it's cool. <laughs> I kind of hope it's cool. I don't know. Let's see. 
Okay, so we've got our little Hoff place that we've got a downed ATAT -AT over here. Is there anything in there? I sometimes wonder, like, because I don't really mess with this stuff too often. No, I didn't leave anything in there. Oh, and I, I dropped the light, so that makes it official. The light, the light fell. So that does make this an official video because something fell. Uh, this is a really cool playset, but I don't have all the pieces for it, so I never really show it off in vids. But I figured this would be the perfect spot to see this thing kind of, I guess, in action, like slowly flying by here. It is a, it's cool. It looks right. Let's put it in the inside the hangar over here. How about that? We'll, we'll wheel this thing over to the hangar and see how that looks. Yeah, that don't look bad. I mean, it looks, it looks like it's in better scale than some of the other, like, stuff. It doesn't look in scale when you put it next to the troopers and some of these other figures. We got a droid here. The droid looks massive in comparison. The droid looks freaking huge next to that, but it doesn't look bad in this playset. So if you have this playset, it kind of works. It it it's not terrible. But for 20 bucks, it's so small. It feels really really small. What do you think? <laughs> okay guys, now I got I got to say I am stoked to have more stuff to put in this playset cuz they said it's incomplete. Um, but I, I gotta say, I like the Action Fleet one better, there's just more details. Even though this doesn't have a tow cable, which is the major plus for this one, I think Action Fleet wins on this round. And, where's the paint? Where is the paint? Because there's no paint, because it's so tiny, doesn't really have landing gear, kind of minimal on the features, again, the, the tow cable is the coolest feature about this. Um, though we don't have anything for it to tow yet. Hopefully that's a, a glimpse into the future that we will be getting maybe an ATAT, -AT, an at at walker, if you will. I would be all for that. I would be like, okay, give me a couple more of these and some more tow cables. Maybe some paint on them would be nice. I just don't know why it's not on here. I really don't understand why they painted it gray instead of red in a lot of these places. And just comparing the two... A lot of the details really aren't there on this. Whereas in Series 2, we've seen a lot more details popping out in, in things. The Millennium Falcon got updated. The one from Galaxy's Edge has a couple more details and features. I've just been seeing that Series 2 seems to be better. Even the, um, the Scout class, the Mandalorian, has more details. The regular, non-chase Mandalorian from Series 2 has Grogu sculpted on there. There's little things like that that make me think Series 2 is going really good. And then I get this, and I'm like, oh. That is kind of a cool feature with the harpoon. Tow cable. But that's it. That's it. And so, because of that being it, I'm going to rate this one as sad. I know. I'm going to rate it as... It's cool. I like it. But if I had to give sad a rad, this is rated sad. Guys, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. What do you think about this? What do you think about this? Do you want to see me open the Republic gunships? I got two of them. Or, uh, what is it? The Slave one, or Boba Fett Starship, whatever. The one with Fennec Shan and Boba. I don't think I've opened that one yet. It's just been sitting here for, like, two months. So if you want to see me open that, leave a comment down below. Let me know how you feel about the Micro Galaxy Squadron line. There will be links down below, affiliate links to Amazon. Using those to buy anything supports the channel and is greatly, greatly appreciated. Helps keep the light on. And until next time, guys, don't be a move milker. Be the spark.